a draw. The fight that was supposed to be the highlight of the night was not the highlighted fight of the night. Okay, Tyson versus Jones was not the highlighted fight of the night. And, um, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of a little upset about that because um, Mike did his thing. All right. Mike came and did what, you know, I expected him to do, even though I'm not going to lie. I expected Jones to go down. You know, um, that was a very annoying fight. I could see for Tyson because, you know, he's trying to land these blows and he just keep getting grabbed. You know, uh, Roy was holding on for dear life a lot of times during that match. And uh, for them to call it a draw. Oh, that was just that just like irritated the fuck out of me because, you know, clearly that wasn't no draw. All right. That was definitely not no draw. Um, we know who won that. You know, Mike knows he won that. So to see something like that happen and. You know, Mike was humble about it, though. You know, he, he was okay. They asked him if he thought he won. He said, yeah, but if it's a draw, you know, that's fine because the crowd is happy. You know, that's what he said. So, you know, he feels as though he put on a good show. And, of course, he did. You know, um, you asked Roy how was the show and... <laughs> you know, I'm cool with a draw. I mean, we just might have tried to do it again. But, I don't know. <laughs> but, anyway... So now we got this this thing where it's just like, you know, where do we go from here? Because Tyson is still clearly hungry. You know, um, there was even some words spewed towards, um, you know, Holyfield, you know, um, how Mike was saying, like, you know, managers and managers are trying to reach out, but, you know, they're not connecting. So maybe the fighters themselves need to connect and bring something going because Mike said it, you know, he can't go one performance without y'all bringing up his name. So if y'all want to bring up his name, you know, set up the match. That's what it comes down to. He's tired of it. He don't want to hear that shit no more. He said, set up the match. So set up the match. All right. And then um, also, you know, like I said, the highlight of the night was not the fight of the night that we expected it to be. You know, it ended up coming from Jake Paul and um, Nate Robinson, you know, a former NBA player versus a YouTuber. Right. I know what you're thinking. Who was going to win this one? You know, we should have did a debate about this one, actually, <laughs> because if somebody would have told me, I probably would have lost some money. I'm not even going to lie. If somebody would have told me that an NBA player was going to fight a YouTuber, I would have bet on the NBA player, just like many have. I bet you, like, you know, that was like the upset of the night, clearly. But I bet you a lot of people lost money off of that one because I didn't see that coming until the match started. You know, like it was literally the first punch of the match. I just knew. Damn. That's all you could say. Damn. The way he ran out on his tiptoes and started punching vertically. Damn. You know, so that's that's just something that we have to live with because uh, I, I saw it all going downhill from there. You know, uh, Jake came with his A game. Surprisingly, he came with his A game. You know, I, I will admit I didn't see his first fight. I should have. You know, I should have definitely went back and watched it, but I didn't. I missed that. And um, But seeing that the... the the talent and the power that he brought to like, you know, for that fight, it was, it was shocking. It was definitely shocking. Like I said, he definitely got like, you know, the upset of the night, you know, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know if it's really the upset because, you know, people probably expected this, you know, there's probably some people out there who expected this, you know, think about it. It was Nate's first fight. And then you have Jake who's on his second fight. You know, this is, they're pretty much still premature, you know, in this, you know, they're not, they're not seasoned fighters yet. And so for that to happen, you know, just to see that type of upset, then you have to think about exactly, you know, what was going through the camp's minds when they were training these fighters, because Jake came with his A game. He came like he was on a mission. You know, he definitely had some shit to say after the fight, but Nate came in like he didn't have no training at all. So his camp, is responsible you know for the way like who told them he was ready for this you know who who decided hey you know um it's time that you step in the ring you know in this type of format so it's only an exhibition and um but the way these fighters some of these fighters came out like they they definitely 
came to wreck some shit. And like I said, like a good few of them did, you know, um, others unfortunately didn't make the cut. And, uh, I feel like that was just crazy because I definitely yelled at my TV. The second time Robinson went down, I said, that's it. That's the fight. That's the fight. You don't need the, you do not need to like, you know, keep counting. He's done. You know, I was very shocked to see the ref let him up and go back in because that second knockdown, you know, the one where his hands was in his face, that should have been the end of the fight. That should have been the end of the fight right there. I knew it. You know, he got up at the nine count, barely. And then not even 10 seconds later, he's back down, done, finished, sleep. So I, I like to think that knockout was on the ref because he definitely should have told him to stay down after that. You know, you you came in, you know what I'm saying, like with high hopes, you left a meme. All right, that's it. You're the talk of the town right now on the internet, so... I, I just, I'm sorry. It was a messed up situation. You know, I personally feel like you shouldn't have been there. Not this early. You know, you got to keep training. And, uh, yeah, that that's that's horrible. Um, but, yeah, let's get on to the Tyson and Jones. So, Tyson and Jones, definitely, um, I want to say they both came in with a plan. You know, they both came in with a plan. And, unfortunately, their plans didn't work out. I say this for both sides. Even though Tyson won. I don't think they get they they served out the plans they wanted to because uh, Tyson could have knocked the boy out. You know, say so he could have, but due to the fact that you know I, it was very frustrating for him to be forced to only go for the body, due to the fact that you're getting clinched. You know, every ten seconds of the fight, you you really had no room to breathe in that fight because of the fact that he was just clinching so much. Roy Jones tired himself out by clinching. And then stepping back, trying to jab on the outside, you know, and doing all these fancy movement. You're not, you're, <laughs> you're not in your twenties no more. So it's like you wore yourself out. You're not in your twenties no more. You want to grab to all hell, and it's like you were, you weren't really scoring the points that you needed to be scoring if you're gonna fight like that. You know, I get it. You know, you're probably thinking that he's a bigger guy, and you could probably wear him out. But in doing so, in doing all of that stuff that you were doing, you wore yourself out because Tyson was ready. He didn't care about all the wobbling around and everything. No, it was just the grabs that really put a stop to his plans, you know. But that's that's normal, you know. Um, when somebody gets a little gets hit a little too hard, you know, they tend to grab on you. So we can understand that. But all that dancing and everything, that's really where Roy Jones messed his own self up. You know, he shot himself in the foot this fight. And um Tyson, you know, there's various highlights and clips that you could pro you could probably find of uh, Tyson just beating this man's like abdomen in. It, it was it was just crazy. Um, the power behind those punches, you could hear it. Like you could hear the impact of them. And I, I salute Roy Jones for definitely, you know, still able to walk after this. You know, saying like during this, not even just after during this fight. You know, he was able to just cir still circle the ring in his way. You know, and um, he definitely took those punches. I agree with that. He took the punches, but it's like you didn't return that power. You know, it's one thing to throw a little jabs and stuff here and there, but I didn't see like I didn't see enough power punch throws like being thrown from Roy Jones. Um, I saw a lot of jabs, a lot of pokes, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like Roy Jones could have came and had a better a better way of dealing with this fight. Um after the fight, you know, he was completely exhausted. You know, Mike Tyson looked like he's ready to go another, you know, another eight rounds. And Roy Jones is just looking done. Like, right when that final bell rang, you could see the difference in these fighters, like their postures. Like, Mike was walking like he dominated. He knew he won. Roy Jones was just tired and he thankful for the bell. You know what I'm saying? So, it was kind of crazy to me. And uh, I don't know. I, I just can't wait to see, you know, what else these guys got in store. And let's just hope it all works out for them in the future. Um, I'm hearing talks of a, a a rematch, possibly. We don't know. Nothing set in stone yet, but we'll see what happens. And maybe next time, you know, now that Roy Jones experienced, you know, he got to experience that. We got to wait and see what happens later on in the future. You know, how he's going to take that back to camp and train on that and work on the flaws of this fight. You know, on both sides, you know, check out what the strengths are, what the weaknesses are and try to figure out a good game plan to come back because if they do have a rematch, it's going to be something crazy to watch, and I'm going to love every second of it. Thank you. Uh, 
and stay tuned for more content. You know, we got the podcast coming up soon. So thank you guys.